Good morning guys, welcome to, is it the morning? No, it's not. <laughs> it's the afternoon. Welcome to another brand new video. Today we are out and about. It's ridiculously hot and humid today. It was raining for like four hours today, this morning. Yeah. So we waited for the rain to stop before heading out today. But it's hilarious because every window you walk past, every shop, the, you can't see in because the glass is completely steamed up. For some reason I'm wearing these glasses okay. and every time I breathe, they also steam up. So I can't really see where I'm going. The floor's slippery, but, and it's ridiculously humid. I think I've sweat more just walking for five minutes than I do on my runs, but welcome to the video. We're gonna have a good day. Hi. Thank you. 35.8. Sounds a little cool, actually. Lucy, what is the plan for today? So today we are just heading all the way along the high street and we plan to pick up some groceries from the little market by Market Market, Market Market Market. And um, we've walked past it loads of times. I even put it in one of my walkthrough vlogs recently. I don't know, at the time our fridge was full of vegetables and fruit, so we didn't really need to buy anything. But I thought it'd be fun today to check it out, pick up some fresh stuff that are brought in by like local farmers around Manila and um, yeah just kind of see what happens. The only problem is today's Friday, it's actually a public holiday today. Didn't realise that until we walked out this morning, um, which means maybe it's not on. So oh, yeah, fingers true. crossed. market is on okay this is the market just Good. next to market market and it is the market we're going to be visiting today okay what have we got we've got some nice drinks here loads of stuff oh perfect loads of veggies wow. loads of fruits so shall we walk around the whole thing first yeah and see what we get? sounds good still got our little distance markers just here i didn't know there were plant shops here always looking for some more plants these are cool. It's so weird that I've never been in it. Yeah, true. Oh, this is the end actually. We need to go back, but look at all these plants. I'm gonna slowly drag you away because we don't need any more plants. We don't need any more You're cacti. You're so mean to me. Why not? It helps us breathe oxygen. <laughs> Times that better because it has literally just started raining and we're undercover, so that's perfect. Wow, it smells so nice. Oh, wow. like that some markets you go to in other countries and around the world that people can be pushy yeah i remember people once just let you look here once we were on a family holiday years ago i think it was in turkey and we went to this market yeah and people are like grabbing your arms i mean maybe they're not now because of the yeah. situation but they're grabbing your arms pulling you in literally pulling you into their stores but here they're just friendly they just say hello nice so here we've got some different regions uh, on little signs. So Ilocos here, and I guess the delicacies that come from there. We've got some Kalinga brew coffee, calamansi juice. We've got a Baguio section with loads of nuts and sweets, candies. Oh, these look good. Some strawberry wine. 
this could be good for the next alcohol taste test video but we'll see about that and then just say the different oh, where's george i've lost george i've lost him Pampanga just here more nuts Bulacan. ah so okay so then like Bico, laguna and cebu are currently closed and then we've got oh there's a little barocco one at the end let's go and find that oh my god this is so cool so oh it looks Camagun, like a... palawan davao Literally every province has a little tool that is so cool. But it does look like some of them are closed yeah. right now. I think in the past we've walked past this place. We've been to this mall before. You might have seen in previous vlogs. We've never really walked through the market area. Yeah. I think we've maybe been put off by how busy it usually is here. It's usually insanely busy. And today is slightly busier, but you can, you can social distance yeah, today it's okay. because it's not crazy busy. There's still quite a lot of people here, so we're just kind of having a walk around, then we'll pick up some vegetables, I think. And um, we go into this main part here, because I think that's where some nice looking veggies are. Alright, cool. Hi. Thank you. So that's good, they got temperature checks even at different sections of the same market to enter the new bit. Hi. Right. Do we just pick stuff up? I think you just kind of see what do you know what you want? Lucy is the chef of the household, so she can choose exactly what we want today. Let's see what looks good, I think. I don't like need certain stuff. Let's just see what looks good. So this is like a certain farm I'm going to talk about. Yeah. A lot of fruit and veg for that. Nice. Oh, we had some. We had some delicious Philippine mangoes the I want other day. Green mango more. I feel like we should definitely pick some up. You want green? Make though? some mango shakes. Do you think green mango is better? Yeah, up to you. Okay. Like yeah. Pizza. Okay. They got a huge selection here. Yeah, these kinds of good. That is one thing you need to make sure of that you have cash if you shop at markets. Oh, we're doing well. It's getting heavy. Okay. Liz, that's okay, that's okay. Thank Thanks. You. Hi. Yeah, it's okay, thank you. These people are really stocked up. Look how nice and fresh that looks. It smells so good. Some of it's in plastic, some of it's not. So we try and get the stuff not in plastic, save a little bit of waste. Hi. Hi. I, I don't know why the strawberries in the Philippines are so expensive. In the UK, what would that be like? 100 pesos? About, yeah, if that. Yeah, that's 500, so that's quite a Because they're often imported from Amer America. Fantastic. Yeah, product of the USA. Yeah. You can see here a lot of these food places have plastic on the front of them, so there's no contact from customers, which I wonder if that, even after this goes a little bit but more back to normal, I wonder if they'll keep certain things like that because I know it does seem to make sense with someone working behind there all day dealing with a lot of different people members of the public it kind of makes sense it takes a little bit away of human experience i guess but maybe it maybe it is a good thing to keep some things like that do you want this now? are you kidding me lucy they are huge and come on come on over there whole milk yeah we get some whole milk for our coffees later can we please have one whole milk? Thank you. Yeah, nice. What's so the date? We've, oh, what does it say? Mm. Oh, we don't need that, do we? No, it's okay. Thank no you. bag, thank you. So the fourth one. Thank you. The four days down there. So that, it's like we always normally buy uh, Polly's farm milk. So we thought we'd try a new one out today. See what we think of that. Thank you. That's oh, okay. For you. Thank you. They have ladies See, there. when supermarkets run out of eggs, this is where they are. <laughs> And you've got loads of wholesale rice here as well. You can get your rice here. We've, we're still stocked up on rice, aren't we? Yeah, we bought a big rice. bag of rice. So we just saw a guard move someone. He was sitting too close to the person he was with. And the guard actually made him get up and move. So they're taking it seriously here. And actually, from what we can see, everyone's 
playing by the rules, which is actually really nice. Makes you feel a little bit more safe coming out, walking around. Yeah, yeah. And how much for this? It's 150. So we've picked up the essential vegetables. Now we're gonna treat ourselves to some flowers. Maybe get one of these. Yeah? You choose, you're the interior designer. Hey, do you want to get any as well? Go for it. We're going to also pick up some flowers for our neighbours because they recently dropped in a bottle of wine, which we thought was a really nice gesture. So we're going to pay back the gesture. Thank you very much. Watch the vlog tomorrow. You'll see this. Thank you. Bye. shower that was really really heavy rain i don't think i've been out in rain that heavy for a very long time i'm now going to quickly show you the bits we picked up from the market whoa there's some big thunder going on right now <sighs> rainy season feels like it's definitely here now doesn't it i feel like there's a part where it was meant to be here and it wasn't but now it's definitely here so we got some nice green mangoes just here it was 99 pesos for two then the flowers these were like 200 i think and then same as the other ones um, that are now next door. Um, and then we got some cherry tomatoes, got three onions, some peppers, some silly, and some beans just here. Uh, and that came to around 260 pesos. So I'm, I, I feel like it's similar to supermarket prices, I'm not too sure. But it was a nice experience and it was just fun to be able to go and see and pick the ones you want. Uh, the people that were super friendly. Oh, and we got the milk as well, didn't we? It's in the fridge already. We got that milk and we just had a coffee and it was really nice. So maybe that's another one that we could try out again in the future. But there's just something quite satisfying about getting your food for the week from like a fresh market. Uh, we didn't, we only had, we, we walked back and it's like quite a long walk. So we didn't want to get too much. The bag was kind of heavy with the milk and stuff in. So this will all last us a couple of days, um, but we can definitely go back there soon. It's nice to support the people that are working there as well, because I don't, I can't imagine that they were open when it was really heavy lockdown, um, at least not all of them. And I guess in supporting the people that work in the market, we're also supporting the farmers that provide this produce. So yeah, overall, great experience. Kind of busy, a little bit busy, but it was okay. And now we're gonna cook some of this. And I'm trying to, I'm looking at it thinking, what dish does this make? Maybe it's like a pasta, spaghetti kind of day, I don't know. That's what I feel like. We had, um, for breakfast today we had, it was really good, I don't know, we didn't vlog until later today. So we had uh, peppers, onions, garlic, cabbage and tomato mixed with like paprika and oil and stuff. Then we had some avocado on a little bit of sourdough that's cooked with garlic as well. Um, then some scrambled eggs with sriracha on top and some cashew nuts on the side. And it was just like so spicy and there's so much flavour. So we've had loads of vegetables already today, trying to keep nice and healthy. Food 
has been made. Flowers have been potted or vased. I made a tagliatelle pasta with some cheese and like a tomatoey sauce with some piece of bread with garlic and butter. So it's like garlic bread. So very excited to eat this. Uh, we've just finished editing up the alcohol video with Mike and Nelly in Kazon City. So much fun to film and George edited it, did an amazing job and so much fun to watch back. So if you haven't seen that vlog yet, go and check it out. But we're going to end this video off here now. Thank you for watching today. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm speaking fast because the camera is flashing red and I really want this to end before it dies. If that makes sense. So give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and we'll see you next time in another Daily Juice. Bye guys. Bye.